Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. Hello again, everyone. I'm Yuri Petrash, and today we are going to talk about phonetic baits. The most popular type in the range is a model called a larva. It is going to be the topic of our review today. The larva model is an imitation of a dragonfly larvae, which, as we all know, is the favorite delicacy of literally all fish. The larva model not only visually resembles a real dragonfly larva, it also has unique characteristics. Unlike other baits, this bait seems alive due to its ribbed body. Its tail moves in the water. The distance between the ribs traps the air between them. So once the predator touches the bait, air bubbles are released, thereby exciting the predator. I'd like to draw your attention to the very soft, flexible legs that unfold during movement and return to their initial position when still. All these characteristics make the bait seem very realistic. A natural ingredient, which Fanatic Baits keeps top secret, makes it tasty for any predator. A two-inch larva bait was the first of our brand to enter the market. It successfully started catching fish for all types of fishermen, be they a beginner or professional angler. So, we decided to release it in several sizes. Today, the larva bait is available in six sizes. The smallest model is 1.6 inches, then it goes up to 2 inches, 2.5 inches, 3 and 3.5 inches. A new test model is 4.5 inches long. Many anglers have asked me how the fish is going to react to such a large model, because dragonfly larva don't reach this size in nature. Judging from the fact that walleye and largemouth bass eagerly take this bait proves that such large size bait do work. Like all of the fanatic baits, larva is produced in 17 colors. These 17 colors are divided into groups. The first group ranges from colors 1 to 6, and they have natural hues. The second group includes the numbers 9, 17 and 23. They have orange-red hues. The purple color, which everybody likes, belongs to the third group, with the numbers 7, 8 and 21. The fourth group consists of acid colors. Here you can see yellow-green hues. Apart from these, there's one colored white under the code 025. Many anglers often ask me whether the bait should only be of natural colors, because in nature there are no yellow-green dragonfly larva, or say a purple one. But judging by the fact there are times when the fish is very greedy for these colors, and I don't understand why, is the main reason why we've produced baits in these colors. Let's talk now about how to rig the bait. In my opinion, it is most effective on a demountable fanatic jig or a football jig. If we are talking about small size baits, you need a single hook with a large eye attached to an eyed weight. It is better to place the hook's tip between the first and second rib, but no further down than the third rib. When it comes to larger baits, then of course it's going to be for the bigger fish. In this case, I recommend using the following rig. A double hook, which you need to attach like that, and an offset hook, in case it gets snagged. The demountable Fanatics jig allows the bait to display its best qualities, which means it is highly flexible, thus showing realistic behavior in the water. Just a few days ago, I returned from a fishing exhibition. I noticed that there were many anglers, when coming to check the new silicon bait, opened the bag and smelled it. In my opinion, a predator reacts to the bait's movement and only then tries to taste it. The smell seems secondary to me. The taste is much more important. I went to the manufacturing department and asked them to make me a sample without any coloring or coating. I needed to see the way the ingredient is distributed within the bait. I mean, the taste ingredient that makes the fish readily bite it. It is clearly seen here how the particles are evenly distributed throughout the entire silicone. That's why anglers should not be afraid that the bait might lose its taste with time, because the ingredient is inside. To begin with, the larva model was designed for catching river perch and zander, but experience has shown that it is also liked by all kinds of bass, 
asp, catfish and northern pike. They readily take it if you move your fishing tackle evenly. The new season has just begun, so no matter whether you are an amateur or professional angler, this bait will make you unbeatable. Subscribe to my channel. This season is going to be interesting. I will continue sharing my experience and secrets. See you next time.